What is going on guys, it's ZigZag here, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be playing a challenge set for me by Hiding Money, a London based YouTuber. Basically his shtick is that he goes and hides money around the greater city of London and then people have to go in real life and go find the little tin of money that he hides around the place. He's challenged me today to a virtual one, where in 30 minutes I have to find the hidden money somewhere in London, and there's going to be clues inside the prompt video, so I'm going to watch that with you guys now, react to it, and then hopefully get in there and be able to find the money within that time. So uh, let's head on over here and see what he had to say. Hiding 230 pounds this time, as that was the number of subscribers after 24 hours from the last So 230 pounds. Multiplied by 10. But the uh, the price he's going to give me is a hundred pounds if I can find it. This round you have a helping hand from Zigzag. First consider having a go yourself and see how long it takes you to find it. This is okay. the last time I will be hiding physical cash as the amount is getting too big for the metal tin. However, that doesn't mean the prizes will go away. They will just get digital and global, so anyone around the world will have a chance to find the location. So yeah, guys, you should, su should subscribe to him so that you can uh, have a chance of winning the uh, digital rounds that he's going to do as well. You get rewarded. In addition to these pictures and footage, you also get a riddle that should help you narrow the location down to a specific part of the city. So answer me this. What is the piece of meat near the largest green slice in Greater London? That is the prompt here. This is what we have to work with. What is the piece of meat near the largest green slice in Greater London? So I will head straight over there. Don't, don't forget to watch the full video on his channel and uh, go subscribe to him for me. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's see how I go. Okay, so guys, the previous zigzag up there did not understand. I'm sure everyone else watching apart from me understood this, but of course all these like this footage from nighttime is where actually the location is of the money. So for the first part of this video, I should be looking for this exact street here, instead I was actually looking at the area. Of course, all that searching does help in the end, but you're just gonna have to bear through me a l uh, doing a little bit of chasing my own tail here. So, uh, anyway, I do eventually realize that this is the uh, exact street that I have to look for, though. Okay, guys, let's do this thing. Uh, the timer starts now, and uh, here are our clues. So, what is the piece of meat near the largest green slice in Greater London? So, here we have a map of Greater London, so I think we should just... Uh, Right ahead, uh, go and uh, type in Greater London on our keyboard here. Okay, so this is the area in which uh, the money should be hidden, which is quite a big area, really. Uh, probably many, many millions of people living in here. Uh, and so let's pull this back up. So what is the piece of meat? So the first thing my mind jumped to was an abattoir. Uh, obviously, we've got a picture of a pig here. So could that be it? That would be rather on the nose, but... Hmm. Uh, but the, I think the bigger clue here might be near the largest green slice. So we have like a, it's quite an odd shape, you'd have to say. I think this might be like a uh, bird's eye view of a green slice of some kind. So I just want to look around here and see if any of the like green parks or anything fits that. So let's get back into snipping tool here. Look, this is the kind of shape. So it's kind of like a super Superman uh, shape here where it's a, uh, Kind of like a pizza slice or something like that. So let's get in here. Richmond Park. Is Richmond Park the same size here? Uh, yeah, it appears to be roughly the same size. So I think we might be somewhere around Richmond Park. Uh, so given that's the case, we've got to talk about something to do with meat. And another thought I had was perhaps that we could be uh, somewhere near like a statue of a like pig or something like that. Obviously we've got a picture of a pig here. This is the only clues we only have to work with. Piece of meat. So that's kind of strange. So let me look up, because we can use any tools, Google, you know, Street View, whatever we like, but let's look up uh, somewhere like uh, Richmond Park. It's gonna be near Richmond Park, but let's look up like abattoir in, um, uh, that's how you spell it, but there you go. Uh, and then London, Greater London, no, yeah. So let's, let's see Abattoir Greater London and go maps here. So do we have an Abattoir in Greater London here is the question. Uh, seems like there are none around Richmond Park. So that is probably going to be off the, off the, uh, off the chart of possibilities here. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that is not going to work. So, I mean, we could just like, uh, like Google, like, uh, like meat market or something like that. I saw like a little, uh, like one of them over here, fresh meat market. That's kind of like a good idea. Meat market. 
of course, it's a piece of meat, so I'm just doing this uh, to make sure, again, doesn't seem like there's anything around Richmond Park here, so that's okay, that's okay. Um, so around this green slice, okay, so let's actually just get in here and take a look. Ooh, Natural Trust, Ham House, and Garden. That's immediately uh, making me uh, think that we could be close here, so maybe uh, let's, let's take a look inside here. This could be uh, some false hope. Uh, because obviously ham is the kind of thing that's like included in a lot of like English place names. I'm not too familiar with London, so this could be silly. Uh, but I, I don't mind looking around here inside ham house and garden. So, uh, let's, how about we go up, up this way? So we, can we see any statue of a piece of meat or anything like that? So here we have like what looks to be like kind of a, a Roman style statue or a Greek style statue. But he's pouring out wine or something like that, so I don't think... He is the actual uh, ham man himself. Uh, looking at this house, just lots of busts of like famous people, presumably. No meat that I can see though. So, hmm, not going too badly. Uh, but like, I feel like this might still be the clue. Perhaps there is like a statue inside this place here. So uh, there's a bunch of different one. Ham lands. Is there any like trekker inside the ham lands here? If we press the man, we can see where the trekker goes. Seems like not. Uh, ham playing fields. Let's just let's just check out on Riverside Drive here. I doubt there's anything, but I just want to make sure we've exhausted this clue uh, before we go. So ham is a piece of meat. Like it would make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, interesting, tiny little roundabout there. But uh, yeah, I think that's about all. Uh, so kitchen garden, orangey cafe cherry garden so yeah i think i think we've seen that and maybe this was just a false clue so let's uh let's continue looking around here uh so richmond park within richmond park is there anything that's thatched log lodge house plantation cafe uh not looking too good here in terms of a piece of meat uh but that's okay so why don't we just uh why don't we just get a little bit more abstract here and just google like uh, so let's see the exact wording here. What a piece of meat, London. Piece of meat, London. That is uh, that is a hundred pounds at stake here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's go into maps. I I I, I doubt this is going to show anything. I might actually have to go. Well, obviously over here. Yeah, this not. It should be more cryptic than that. I think it should be more cryptic than that. So. We'll head, head back out, and let's just go back into- let's go over to images, I think. Uh, because I have a feeling that... Like, statue? Meet Statue London? This, uh, this could be- this could be worth it. Okay, so looking around here... Uh, we- we certainly don't see that guy who was pouring out the wine, so... I'm pretty confident about that. Uh, but otherwise... It's hard to say, otherwise it's hard to say. Okay, so let's head back into the map here and continue our search around. So we've got Marble House here, the National Trust Ham and uh, that whatnot. That That is still, um, that is still rather uh, possible to me. Uh, I actually kind of think we can come back to that and look around there a little bit longer. Uh, as for the rest of the stuff, so let's just see what kind of like uh, attractions we've got going on around here. Magic Garden over here. Interesting. Now, Richmond Park is certainly quite big when you compare it to the size of London, that's for sure. So I think it does like make sense for it to be the largest green slice. Uh, I don't know if you guys agree, but let's see over here. It's got a lot of stuff going on, but nothing that I would associate with a piece of meat. The ham one still seems most possible to me. It really does. So let's go back to the clue. What is the largest piece of meat near the green, largest green slice in Greater London? So obviously we're checking the two uh, here. If we if we uh, um, if we were over here, that would be right near Richmond Park. So I do like that. I think we have to actually have to go back here and search a little bit longer, don't we? So let's go over here. Uh, but hmm, like, could we just be at the statue? Um, could that actually just be the the go here? But there you go, that's the end of Ham Street, ends up in this car park. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that my final guess will just be uh, inside of Ham House Gardens here. So yeah, this is kind of the best view we have, I guess, the highest quality view. 
there's the statue. Would not be surprised if he like put it inside by the statue or something like that. But yeah, if I if I was to uh, advise you guys, I would say like in this front garden here would be where my guess is. So uh, go check that out. I guess I think I think this is where I will uh, set the marker. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, submit that to. Uh, Hiding Money, and we'll see if the money comes through and if I was correct. Okay guys, I've had a response from Hiding Money. Our first guess was incorrect, but uh, I just realized that actually this clue here, this night footage, is actually completely relevant from the intro. So it's gonna be on this road here, the one I'm just watching now. And so I'll just turn the sound off here. So it's this road, we've got like a, a we're facing to the north, so north-south road, we've got this like railing and this green building here. The cash should be found uh, right around here with like the, where the intersection is and that's where the money should be so somehow I didn't realize that so this will make my life a lot easier as a GeoGuess player we're gonna head into maps here and uh, yeah get straight into it so let's go back into London we already know that we're gonna be around Richmond Park here in Ham and uh, now we just have to find kind of a green leafy road uh, around Richmond Park so uh, immediately I'm thinking north to south ones that end off so uh, I think we should just get around here and also I still think the ham clue is going to be correct. So let's let's look for a, a road that ends off around ham. So what about this one? This will be the first one I'll check. No, not quite leafy enough there. Also kind of, we need more north to south than that. Uh, something like this could be a goer. Let's see about this. No, so this is a bit of unofficial coverage, interestingly, but I still like this area coming up to here. Okay, so can't see that green building that we're looking for. Still uh, quite, not quite uh, green enough either, I would say. But uh, certainly could be something like that. What about this one here? Uh, yeah, and not enough trees. So if we look over here, we have to be going through quite the avenue of trees, actually. There's quite a lot, even though it's nighttime, because that's kind of the theme of the episode. You can see that there, there's definitely significant tree cover going on. So let's get back in here and check. Could be coming up to the parking or something like that. This could be possible. Again, not enough trees. It's kind of hard to tell what's a road and what's a path, but let's go back out to here. So, Ham Gate. We were here. This this road kind of looks promising. Let's go over to the Google coverage here. Uh, yeah. So, okay, let's follow this road along for a little until we come to an intersection. Because I feel like this one's kind of more promising. Uh... Yeah, okay, so let's, if we follow this one along, okay, this one's like kind of heavily forested like it is in the video, so I don't mind that. Um, are we going north to south? Uh, where's the compass? Yeah, so this is north to south, I like that as well. So let's see here. Will it end up in the kind of place that we need, is the question. So yeah, knowing that it's north to south road is really going to help us here. We need that little uh, green building here as well as like the, that bollard there, so... I think we could probably head into satellite here as well uh, and just see that. Yeah, that's definitely going to help us out. It's definitely going to help us out. It needs something north to south in the middle of the forest. Oh, this one looks good. This road really looks good, I must say. Let's see what, what it looks like. Oh, and this one was just the one we were at before. So, I just, yeah, I would just say it looks better. Looks better on the coverage than it does in real life. That's for sure. But, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, Church Road is where, where, where we tried to click, right? No. Okay. So this one, this, this, this one's definitely piqued my interest, guys. This one's definitely piqued my interest. If we look that direction, it doesn't look quite right. This direction, maybe not either. So that's at that intersection there. So what if we follow it down here? This one could have more potential. Uh, no, ends off like that. Down that drive, maybe not. Okay, over that way, not sure either. So, Church Road, Ham Ridings. Oh no, we need we need the T intersection at the end here. So Garth side again, no. So we, it's going to be right on the edge of the park, right on the edge of the park. So let's uh, maybe let's exit out of this and and just take a take a take a more zoomed out look. So here is Richmond Park. Here's the clue. What is the piece of meat? Is the piece of meat near the largest green slice in in Greater London? So surely we're in Ham. Uh, which is to do with the pig, as we got the pig on the clue. We're near the largest green slice. We already worked that out very quickly. Uh, and then all we need to do is find uh, the piece of meat. So, yeah, I, I, I guess that's ham. So we just need to find this particular road, which runs like this. So let me actually see if I think the uh, compass is working here. 
So as he comes along here, the compass doesn't really move. Just wondering if that is actually part of the shot. Okay, no, it is. So if we look to the east, we can see the green building. The green building is to the east. So let's uh, let's get back in for another scour here. Let's actually try and find the green building instead of trying to find, find the right road. Uh, I don't know if it will show up on the map, but I hope it will. Uh, maybe we will need the uh, street view signage again. So uh, the church road was easily the one filling me with the most confidence, I must say. But then it just it, it exits the two the forest too quickly. So church road, Hamgate. I mean Hamgate again also sounds pretty good. That's until you you realise that it's actually not that many trees around it. Um, hmm. Okay, this road over here does not appear to be an actual road, okay? So, yeah, that, that's a big mansion over there. So, if we're around here, Ham Avenue's road, okay. Uh, Cutthroat Alley does not have coverage, unfortunately. Can we see any green road? We don't, uh, green building? We don't seem to see a green building either. Ham Street itself is not covered by that many trees, so, yeah, we, we, we can pretty confidently say that it's not there. This little lane here, at night time, maybe just because it was night time, it might be worth a check here, just because it was night time it looked a certain way, no, it's not there. We need that bollard, the footpath, and of course over to the east we have that little green building. Hmm, that's very interesting indeed, very interesting indeed. There's Ham Street, Riverside Drive, again, probably not forested enough. What about out here? What about out here? This one. Well, this one has some potential, I feel like. This one has some potential. No, and also we were looking north anyway. We were looking north anyway as we were heading up the street. So, it has like the intersection to the north, not the south, is what I'm realising. Uh. So then. Richmond Park, what secrets are you holding from us? This is more difficult than I thought. I think I was having more uh, more ease when I was back out in this direction like this without the uh, satellite. So let's just... Uh... Okay, this one. Have we checked this? No. Yeah, without the, it's actually kind of harder without the trees. I think I have to switch between both here. This intersection here again is on the dirt road. So I feel like I've exhausted most of them that are actually within the park. So maybe it is time to expand our view here a little bit. Near the Ham House, okay. That road there is not paved. This one is not north to south. So all this doesn't seem quite right. The Ham Avenues are not right. And again, not enough trees, that's the thing. All these ones don't have enough trees. Like, clearly we can see quite a lot going on here. So right, this is the exact location that the money's hidden. Somehow I missed that when I first watched it. Um, and so, that's what we're looking at. We've got yellow markings on the outside of the road. Almost looks like a pedestrian crossing, but I think it's just a hump. It's just a hump on the road. And, uh, yeah, that, that's what we got going on here. That is the best view we get. And, uh, I'm struggling, guys. I'm really struggling. We really have to follow the tree cover. That's what I'm thinking at this point. These, like, intersections here seem like the most promising, but none of them are roads. What about this one over here? Yeah, again, not a road. Like, I swear I've zoomed into that, like, five times now. I need to be more disciplined with where I'm actually looking here. Yeah, none of it looks that good. Okay, what about this one over here? Again, not a road, so... That's super annoying, man. Okay, let's just keep on looking through the forested areas here. So that's not a road. This one is not a road either. Uh, but this, like, whole area kind of looks a little bit more promising, I would say. Uh, that's actually just a walk, though. That's the problem with it. Actually, not too much coverage out here, surprisingly. So, is that still Richmond Park? I mean, we're a bit over from Richmond Park, but it did only say near. It says, uh, near the largest green slice. It doesn't have to actually be within it, of course. I've checked church roads like 10 times now, but nothing's changing about it. Surprise, surprise. Oh, okay, this one. This road here. Oh my gosh, is this it? River Lane? This looks the best. We've got the curb. We've got the bolt. Like, we don't have the bollard. We have the yellow markings. Like, this one was easily the closest. 
the tree cover is also good, so that is rather unfortunate that it's not there, I must say. Uh, yeah, but that, I guess we hadn't really checked over here too much, so how do these other roads end up? Orleans Road? This one also not quite lining up with what we need. This road, no. Ham Street, I mean, it ends up here. This is what Ham Street ends up at. We kind of got the bollards, uh, but yeah, it just ends up in this car park, I think. We already went here, so... Oh, man. Oh, man. Hamlands. River Thames. It's right there. Is that going to give us any any help here? I don't really think so. Also, like, Google might be blocking me out again. No, it's not. Again, like, almost has some potential here, but not quite. Not quite indeed. And then we're right back on the, like, the Ham Main Street here. So that's no good. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I might I might have to uh, seek advice once again here, guys. I might have to. I think I will. Okay, guys, I didn't ask him yet anything, but uh, we. I just found in the video that actually we have the other part of the road here. We can see it's east here. So this is southwest over here. So to the south, it bends a bit to the west. I somehow also missed that. So we can go back in here and uh, give it another clue, uh, another go. So we know that the road does it end doesn't really end but there's another road coming off to the east as well so it kind of bends off to the west has a road running to the east and um yeah i don't know i don't know so let's check out this lane over here oh my gosh oh my gosh finally <laughs> look at this uh, i'm telling you guys this is legit this is legit i've actually just found it uh on the first thing all i needed to do was actually look to see that it bended a little bit out like that and uh yeah my gosh, there we go. Okay, so here it is. Um, and so we saw in the video that he put it over by this thing here. So it should be behind here. And there it is. Oh my gosh. And you can see here to the south, that's how it bends off. And there it is to the north. So my gosh, did I actually go anywhere near this? So this is the actual location, Church Road. I said the whole time that Church Road was the one that it looked the most like. And here, like it. And here it is. So, one of you guys, anyone who's living in the UK, uh, who's living in London, go and see if the money is still there. Because by the time this video goes up, it'll still be there. And uh, because I was the first one to figure it out, this is the, the video is still private at this point. So, uh, I think... Um, yeah, that, that, that was uh, that was a pretty tough challenge. Took me quite a lot longer than I would have liked, but uh, eventually did get there. And uh, just had to find the right tree cover. Here it is. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to get back out here. I'm going to look in here. This is where the green thing is. I'm going to right click, uh, copy those coordinates and send them over to Hiding Money. But uh, that was a really fun challenge. You should definitely go over to his channel, subscribe to him. Uh, because, uh, yeah, it was good to work with him to make this video today. And, uh, yeah, so I should hopefully have won the 100 pounds. And, uh, yeah, uh, I hope that you guys can go out and get the 230, one of you guys. And de definitely comment if you're one of the ones living in the UK who is able to uh, go and get it. Uh, because, you know, it's not too far away from the city centre uh, over there. So maybe it might take you half an hour to get there or something like that. But uh, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to go send that over to him and uh, hopefully have the confirmation that we're right. And uh, yeah, I'll say thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, see you in the next video. Catch you later.